Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a log equation with ln, which is the natural logarithm. We have the quantity ln x to the fifth power equals ln x to the fifth power. And we're going to be looking for x values. So I'm going to go ahead and present the solution, and then we're going to be taking a look at the graph. So let's get started. I'm going to use substitution. Let's go ahead and set something equal to something else. But before that, let's go ahead and use properties of logs. I want to bring down this 5. So write this as ln x to the fifth power. By the way, be careful. Uh, this 5, you can't move to the front because this is not uh, ln of something to the power. All right, so that property doesn't work on the left-hand side. So this gives us ln x to the fifth power equals 5 ln x. Now we can use substitution. Let's go ahead and replace ln x with something. How about u? Okay. That gives us u to the fifth power equals 5u. You can divide both sides by u as long as we, u does not equal 0. But let's not do that. Let's go ahead and put everything on the same side so we can solve for u. Let's subtract 5u from both sides. And then factor out u. u to the fourth power minus 5 equals 0. So the first factor gives us u equals 0, obviously. u equals 0. And the second one gives us u to the fourth equals 5. And as you should know, this has two solutions. One of them is the fourth root of 5. And the other one is the opposite of this number. Why? Because 4 is an even number. When you raise u to the fourth power, even if it's negative, it's going to become positive. So the, in other words, there are two numbers whose fourth power equals 5. All right, so we got two solutions, but u is ln x. So let's go ahead and set each of these equal to ln x. We know that u is equal to ln x, right? So now ln x equals 0 gives you x equals 1. How do you find that? Well, if you know properties of logs, a uh, log of any uh, base, or log of 1 in any base is 0. Or you can just use uh, a nice identity, which is e to the power ln x equals x. So that's a very important identity. And we can do e to the power both sides. So that's going to give us e to the power ln x equals e to the power 0, e to the power ln x equals x. So this is going to be x equals 1. Obviously, we do need a requirement for x to be positive, and it is positive, right? x equals 1 works. Great. So that's the first solution. Let's go ahead and set the other ones equal to ln x. ln x equals the fourth root of 5. Now, again, you can do e to the power both sides, and you'll get the answer that way. So this means x equals e to the power fourth root of 5. That's going to be the second solution. And similarly, the third one is just going to be the same thing with a negative exponent. All right? That doesn't mean x is negative. It just means the exponent is negative. So there seems to be three solutions, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and see what this looks like. All right, great. So we have the graph of ln x to the fifth power which is the purple one, and the other one, which is, I think, blue, is ln x to the fifth power. And notice that they intersect at three points. We talked about three different solutions. One, e to the four, uh, fourth root of five, and e to the power negative fourth root of five. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.